Good morning. Welcome to Wildflower Garden Tarot uh, Sagittarius. Slowly but truly getting through all the astrological signs and their cusps. But really slow this month. This is a really tough month for me, for a lot of people that live in sun, sun like northern areas where the days alter dramatically. Uh, I, <laughs> I don't know if you can see. I have the worst nails in the world right now. No manicure, but filled with dirt. I keep saying, but I keep a greenhouse downstairs. <laughs> and I don't know. Um, so, yeah, the readings this month have been really slow. I'm just tired. I'm not feeling it. I uh, Like maybe some of you, I suffer a lot of anxiety, especially at this time of year. I spend a good amount of my energy just talking myself down through the day. You know, so I have this steady stream of... Self-talk, it's like, that's ridiculous, everything's okay, you know, you know, just have faith, you know, so, and, and I only mention that because I, maybe some of you are facing those same challenges, so Sagittarius, I pulled the runes for you, and I see that you're going to have some <sighs> Or are in the midst of some radical um, evolutionary change. You, your first rune was the raid hole, which is kind of equivalent. Like, look at the dirt. <laughs> um, yeah, no fancy manicures here. Um, raid hole can often be associated with the wagon. Or the chariot card in tarot. Yes, Axel. And um, my cat's really nag. Anyways, it also means evolutionary change. Um, but I feel like this is evolutionary change in you. Not f necessarily even for you. But in you. The next one we get is not these. So this is like things happening out of your control. Um, but also the rune, I guess it would be like a tower. Be like the tower. It's like, oh. And the tower we, we can associate with bad. Or we can say, you know what, I've been putting so much energy. And this is kind of what I'm picking up, like the energy that I'm feeling. It's just exhaustion. It's like I've been putting so much energy into holding this tower up and into fixing all the cracks. I just don't have the energy for it anymore. Which is the evolutionary change. Right? But the runes, spirit, God wants you to know that your prayers are being heard. And what has been happening is part of your prayers. This is like the anthropomorgic figure of a person standing desperate, palms in the air, praying. Oh, God, I don't even know what. Just help me. And Spirit's like, you know, I hear your prayers. I hear your prayers. But before I can answer your prayers, we need to get rid of some garbage. We need to clear the way. This tower's got to fall because this tower is actually the problem. Gable is gift. Abel is answered prayers. Okay. So spirit, tell us what's going on with the anxious Sagittarians. I just feel this really heavy, heavy energy today. Um, okay. Two cups. Is feeling shy because he didn't just come out, but he came and flipped himself over and then back into the deck. 
hiding. King of Cups. This is a beautiful deck. This is the Golden Tarot of the Renaissance deck. Hey, what's going on with Sagittarius? What's going on? Whoa. Five of Cups. Yeah, see? I felt naked and alone. Four of Cups. I felt naked and alone. Isn't that from the Bible? In the wilderness. And you were there to rescue me. Is what Spirit just said to me. So a lot of water energy. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, a lot of praying. Um, see, this is like Gabo. This is like the hands up in the air praying to God. So we a lot of purple, actually. But I think there's a lot going on in your head. Too. So Okay, so overall, this is your, like, King of Cups. Intuitive man. In this deck, he looks kind of sad and stressed out, though. See, he's got his hand, like, gripped. And he's an older man. You know, I'm just picking up a lot of praying. I can't go back. Right? I can't go back. And now the Four of Cups in a lot of traditional decks is, you know, the, the guy sitting there looking kind of moody with his arms folded under a tree and he's got three spilled cups and, you know, Spirit is bringing him another cup that he does that he's not even looking at. But this is three cups sitting there. They look empty. And he has one cup left and he's pouring that out. Renunciation. So. So what's in the cups right now isn't great. And it's time to move on. It's time to renounce the past. Embrace the magic of the future. This is the magician. The magician uses all the elements to create something new. Fire, water, earth, air. Start something new. Ace of Pentacles, Gable, gifts from God. Your prayers have been answered. Here's your new world. Here's everything you wanted. Here you go. See, that's an angel. Here you go. <sighs> okay, Spirit. Can you tell us a little bit about what caused all this abstinence, all this, um, not abstinence, all this renunciation? What was going on? This might be just a quick reading. <laughs> the quick reading is Sagittarius. Things might look shitty and scary and you're anxious and you wake up in the morning and you go, oh God, <laughs> right? Like you've been sleeping and tossing and turning and you wake up and you open up your eyes and, and your first thought is it's a new day. And then your next thought is, oh God, it's a new day. What's going to happen today? But Raid Ho. Okay. <laughs> I, 
as I was saying that, Spirit was talking to me, and I was about to say, and Raid Ho is that rune of new beginning, of a sudden change, of things coming in quickly. <sighs> yes, of you letting go of the handlebars. Jesus, take the wheel, right? Of letting God... You know, you've been working so hard to control and everything and finally to say, you know what, God, I release my attachment to outcome of this situation. Let's see what you're going to do. I trust you. I've said my prayers. I've done my work. I trust you. Um, I don't know if I'm meant to have all of these. I, I don't think so. But out came this. The Two of Cups. Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm just going to double check this, but Spirit's telling me something. Yeah. Maybe you love somebody that wasn't returning. The love, right? Unrequited love. Unrequited love is what spirit says. That's this. This is the card of passion, commitment, love. But it came out, and usually I'm so excited when I see that. But spirit said to me, unrequited love or sadness. Like that's your problem. You want something. That you can't have. And I'll show you something here in this deck. Somebody from from when you were young, you've wanted this person for, you've wanted this feminine for so long that all you could see was her. And not even opening up your mind to the possibilities of anybody else. But you see, you want her so bad. And she's just really not that into you. And so part of this, there's the emperor on the bottom. I was going to say part of this is the more she rejects you, the more you want her. Because you have this strong emperor energy. It's like, but I'm a king of cups. Why don't you want me? And she's like, it's not that there's anything wrong with you. It's just, I, I don't feel it. And there's another two of cups to clarify the two of cups. Yeah. Yeah, because, yes. Because you have, ooh, when you release your attachment to outcome and you finally let this go, you have an actual Twin of Cups waiting for you. Queen of Swords. She's a queen. She's a little self-protective, but you see in this deck how she's got her hand out? Come. I will fight for you. Come to me. In this deck, the Queen of Swords is benevolent and kind. She is just what this guy needs. I, she will heal your broken heart. She's been waiting for you. Yeah. <laughs> she has had this night, because as I was like, clarify this Queen of Swords, she has had this night of pentacle energy. She has been waiting for you. Now 
there's just this overall sense, right, of like, she's tired, of, like, and she's gone through this, is he going to come to me, or will he always go after what, you know, will he always chase? I'm right here, what she's saying, and there's the world flipped itself over. She's your world. She's your new beginning. With her, you know, you've dumped out these cups. And it's like, fuck it, right? With this woman, that there's nothing wrong with her. She... She's just not the one. And turn your attention to this Queen of Swords, who this time she. Ugh, I mean, she has gone back and forth. Like, I give up on this guy. You know, maybe your twin flames, hey? I get, she, she's given up on you a thousand times, but she always comes back. Just gonna look up the Queen of Swords in this. <sighs> Determined, resilient, and smart. It's hard for you because you, th in general, the Queen of Swords is somebody who. Oh, yeah. Okay. Who relies on her brain. This could be you. I mean, take it take it how it resonates. Whether you're the masculine or the feminine. Whether you're the king of cups or the queen of swords in this reading. Queen of swords, I mean, yeah. I mean, she usually is pretty self-protective. She is logical. She uses her brain. But this is freaking her out. This is making her nuts. This goes against everything that she is. She's got a five of cups here on the bottom too. Right? Have you got anything else about this queen of swords? But you are soulmates. You are the ones. This relationship, this woman that you've been chasing, she doesn't want you. But there's a better woman here that does. Yeah, the Spirit's just telling me, sometimes it's hard to put it into words. But spirits are like your attraction to this woman is that she doesn't want you. I will make her love me. That you came from a family where maybe you were the black sheep or not the favorite of your mother. <laughs> of your mother. Yeah. You know. This is your standing in your family. Um just so tired. Just so not the one, right? See, this is like a young you. This is like a young king. See, red tights, red tights. <laughs> yeah, you know, youthful, you know, tunic, right? You've loved her since you were young. Just, but just because she doesn't accept you doesn't make you unworthy and it doesn't make her more worthy because of the chase okay queen of swords so you turn your attention to the queen of swords you finally say you know fortune favors the bold i prayed what and i've released my attachment to outcome oh shit here's this queen of swords and suddenly she looks different. Because with together you'll have the Queen of or the Ten of Pentacles life. 
there you are, along with kids and a dog. Okay? Is there anything else, Spirit? Yeah, another set of pentacles. So, Sagittarius, whichever role you are playing in this reading, um, let your tower fall. Cross the river, don't look back. What you were chasing isn't isn't worth it. Stop, turn around, and look at what God's got for you right there. Has had for you all along, Spirit just said. If you had gotten her, she would have made your life miserable. Either that or you did get her and she just never loved you. Right? She just never did. And here's this Queen of Swords all along. Can you imagine the Queen of Swords, how fucking tired she is? And like wanting to give up, wanting to move on to a relationship with somebody else and maybe goes out with other men and that just never works out and she just doesn't feel it. And then she goes home, you know. And all she can think about is you, but you're still stuck on this woman that doesn't want you? For years, I'm thinking. I'm thinking for years, Sagittarius. Give yourself a break. You know, I'm not Sagittarius. I'm an Aries Taurus cusp. But this really kind of, it didn't resonate with me. Like, it, I don't have anything like this going on, really, I don't think. But, you know, I think that's where this whole discussion of anxiety and exhaustion and kind of like, oh, give up. Like, God, what do you want then? Right? It's like, please. Please, please, please. Trust in God. Trust in your prayers. But when you pray for something, don't bother praying for it. If you have a strong attachment to the outcome of that situation. Okay? I just looked at the clock. It's like, holy shit, it's almost 10.30. <laughs> so, Sagittarius, have a great day. Have a great week. Have a great life. Don't be sad. Quit chasing what doesn't belong to you. Okay?